Hey what's up everyone, CTN Technology News here, and today I'm taking a first look at the new Office 2016 preview that Microsoft actually just publicly launched for all Windows devices. This update has a number of different improvements to all the different Office apps, so in this video I'm going to be walking you through the most major changes and giving you my opinions on it, so let's go ahead and begin. On starting the apps, one change is immediately obvious. All the programs are a lot more colorful than before. While the old white scheme is still available, by default each Office app uses the app's color in its title bar and ribbon area, making the different apps a lot more distinctive. The next thing you'll notice right away is that some of the apps like Excel, Word, PowerPoint, and Project have a new special entry on their ribbons called Tell Me What You Want To Do. Basically, this is just a search box that allows you to type what you want to do, and it's just going to show you a sensible list of options based on what you type. This Tell Me feature has been in the Office web apps for about a year now, so adding it to desktop apps has been a long time coming. It just isn't clear why Microsoft hasn't added this to all the apps yet, since it is a really, really useful feature. Now another cool new feature that's been built into the Office 2016 apps is the new Wikipedia box that you can open up at any time. So basically this is just Microsoft's way to expand the research functionality of Office. They've been working on this for quite some time now, the original Office apps just basically had a thesaurus built in, but in the more recent ones there have been basically some basic search terms that you can look up, as well as an Encarta dictionary and an encyclopedia, and this Wikipedia box is basically the culmination of all that. It allows you to immediately find definitions of words you're looking for, get information on a topic, or just go to a given Wikipedia article that you already know about. Office 2016 also offers a number of behind the scenes improvements, for instance, it's actually better at keeping data from falling into the wrong hands. Word, Excel, and PowerPoint all support Microsoft's new Data Loss Protection program, which was previously found only in Outlook. Basically, this allows administrators to create policies governing document authoring and sharing to prevent things like leaks of personally identifying information. For instance, an administrator can detect emails that appear to contain social security numbers, and then prevent those emails from being sent outside an organization. That won't stop determined leakers, or prevent people from leaving USB drives full of sensitive information on the train, but it should help against accidental leaks. As is so often the case with Office, the new version appears to be better than the old version, but not so much better than an Office 2013 owner should be compelled to upgrade. It's possible Microsoft will add more updates as we get closer to the release, but I'd be surprised if anything truly groundbreaking is added to the mature and capable suite. Also, I don't think that the Office 2016 will release will actually be the final version of the bundle, I'm expecting new features will continue to be rolled out post-launch, and then also incorporated into the monthly updates for Office 365 subscribers. Some may even find their way into service packs for everyone else using older versions of Office, but as time goes on, I'd expect new features to be Office 365 exclusive as a way of improving the value proposition of the subscriptions. But let me know if you're excited by the new features in Office 2016 in the comments below, let me know if you think that Microsoft's done a really good job with this update, or if there are any features that you wish they would have added, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.